So Jeffrey, what did you think of my drive? I think you have a lot to work on, Evan. Oh no. <laughs> hey everyone. This is my uh, good friend and coworker, Evan. We work on the same team at Lyft. And um, he's been playing badminton with us for about like three times and it seems like he really liked it. So I thought it'd be really cool if I taught him badminton and um, sort of like filmed it so that I could not only help him but help anyone who's interested in learning badminton as a beginner. So today we were planning to film a whole like video series but decided just to make one video. So today's video is going to be on the drive and it's going to be three main tips. The first tip is to have a short swing when you hit. The second tip is to hit in a comfortable area. And then the third tip is to step out with your foot. And as you watch the video, it'll make a lot more sense and hope you enjoy. So the first thing I'm gonna teach you in today is the drive. What's the drive, Jeffrey? Oh, great question, Evan. So the drive is a really fast and flat shot that's very basic to badminton. You can see it mostly in doubles, but also in singles. And as the evolution of the game progresses, the shots have become faster and flatter. So the drive is very important. We'll see what the drive is like in a second, but first, there are two main things to the drive in pretty much all shots. How you hold your racket, which is the grip, and then how you hit the shot. There's the forehand drive, and then there's the backhand drive. Today, let's first work on the backhand drive, which is, in my opinion, easier. So the first thing is the grip, right? So how you hold it is, give me a thumbs up. So this is what we call the backhand grip, the standard backhand grip. You take your thumb and you put it on the flat and broad side of the racket so that the racket's like facing towards you. Kind of like this. So without going too deep into it, that's basically the backhand grip. As you can see, there's like a lot of versatility with it and a lot of angles you can hit from. And that's what makes this grip so useful because you can hit it from like a lot of positions. Like, <laughs> you might not always be able to hit it like this. So if it's like below the net, then you can hit it like this. So this rainbow comes down and you lift your arm up and you hit like this. Awesome. So as a beginner, I think that you shouldn't worry too much about all these technical stuff. What you should worry about right now is just having the right grip and then hitting a flat shot that goes right above the net. All right, so now how do you hit the shot? So to hit the shot, you use your backhand grip and all you need is just a little flip. Like you don't need this big motion because that's like too much. The bigger the motion, the more room for error you have. So at the very beginning, you just want to keep your motion small. And this is really all you need for a well-executed put or a well-executed drive. All right, so to quickly explain how you hit the shot, you hold your backhand grip and you pull back your elbow just slightly and you also pull back your wrist. And then as you hit, you push out your elbow and you also push back your wrist and you also tighten your grip. So it's sort of this like one motion hit, if that makes sense. Sure does, Jeffrey. Thank you, Evan. So I think as a beginner, it's more important for you to just hit and get the feel of it instead of just like going too deep into the details and the theory of how to hit the perfect shot. So I think let's just hit first and then I'll point out like what's good and what's bad. And we can go from there. Okay. So let's go hit. Cool. So Jeffrey, what do you think of my drive? Well, I think that there's a lot you can work on. Really? Yes. Oh, no. So one thing I noticed was that 
Um, your swing was a little bit too big. You were hitting like this, uh -huh. and I feel like all you need is really just maybe like five inches of hitting room. Um, all you really need is just go like this. And that's pretty much all the space you need and all the power you need to hit a good drive. But then like you're going like this, so causes a lot of room of error. Yeah. I think as a beginner, it's better to focus on just having a good contact point and getting it over instead of just like focusing on trying to hit fast. So right now, let's just hit shots that go over and not really worry about how high they are or how fast or how far they are and just work on having a shorter swing. Okay, cool. So, so that was pretty good. Like So Jeffrey, did I do any better this time? No, I'm just waiting for them to like quiet down. <laughs> okay. I think that was pretty good. Like did you notice that you were hitting a lot more shots over and you were like more consistent? Yeah, I felt more comfortable. And for what I could tell, your stroke was also a lot shorter instead of like the big motion you had earlier. Yeah. Which I think led to like a better shot. It's true. Another thing I noticed was like you can hit further away your from your body and you should aim to hit a little bit further away from your body. If it's too close to you, it's like really awkward and you don't have enough room to work with. So try try to hit within like arms range. Like, cool. if you move your arm around your body, that is kind of like a comfortable range for you to hit the shot. Awesome. Yeah. So just, let's keep working. Okay, on. cool, let's try it. Another thing that I quickly notice is you're sort of like reaching over, so it's kind of like this. So one thing that I think would really help is if you, every time you hit, you sort of like step towards the shot. Cool. Like, in badminton, a really common fundamental piece of advice is to always land on your right foot or your dominant foot. If you're left-handed, it's your left foot. If you're Right hand is your right foot, and that allows you to get to the shot, hit, and then push yourself back. Yeah. So if a shot's like a bit out of your range, you need to reposition your body by stepping out with your right foot. So try doing that. Okay. But Great. one thing I did notice is that your shots have already gotten a little bit more consistent, which is pretty good, right? Like, how are you feeling right now? I feel good. It's more tiring to shoot this one. It feels better. I think my shot has improved a lot, but I'm also noticing that it's more tiring to hold up my shoulder to do the backhand drives. But they're still better. So it's kind of better. Yeah, I think this is like a pretty common um, position, arm position in badminton. So get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jim.
All right, so what do you think? Uh, I feel good. I think my shots are doing what I want to more with them. Um, do you think like slipping out with your right foot helps? Yeah, I feel more mobile. I think it also helps to have more of a rhythm with my feet instead of not being sure what to do with them. Okay, so I yeah. think that's part of why it helps. Yeah, I noticed your shots were like, actually most of them went over and it seemed like you had good control. Which is really interesting because like we've been hitting what for like 10 or 15 minutes and it, I've already seen like improvement, which is pretty awesome. You're a good teacher. So cool. Um, I hope that helped you too. To do a quick recap, uh, first, don't have a big movement, just have the small movement. That's all you need. Second, uh, try to hit within arm's length. If it's if you're hitting too close to your body, you don't have enough room to work with. If you're hitting too far, you don't have like enough power. Third, when you're hitting the drive, step out with your right foot so you can position yourself to be in the right position to hit the drive. Awesome. Thanks, Jeffrey. Yeah, I actually feel like more controlled or something. Yeah. But it's funny because I almost never hit backhands the past few times we played. Yeah. So I'm worried about like working it into well, first you build up the units, and then you do the integration. That's true. So I hope this video helps with their drive. We'll see you in the next video. Alright. I wasn't ready to wave. <laughs>